and happy Pink Wednesday. Welcome. Thanks for popping in the pink door. So I wanted to check in and just say hello and give you an update on our fundraisers for the Yeti. Um, we still have our, our Yeti going on. We have $20 per ticket and we are still doing the six for $100. The tickets came in. Um, we're, we have 200 tickets and I think I have about 100 left. We've had quite a few people giving us a call and asking us so um, we could figure out an online payment and then put your names in on the tickets. So I thank you very much for um, offering to purchase some tickets. They are um, they were donated by Sarah Seasonings. They are a local promotional products company. So of course we love to, you know, kind of support the local communities. Um, and they gave us 200 tickets. So these are what we'll be selling. And it will be a full Yeti um, with lots of adult beverages. And we have, it's still lonely though. My bottle's still a little lonely. So if you can go ahead and um, for all those that said that they were gonna bring me some some adult beverages, some alcohol um, for the Yeti, please bring it on down because we would like to put that in here. We're gonna be trying to sell these tickets. If you know some place where we can go ahead, talk about um, GCCF, the fundraisers, maybe have some ticket setups for bras for the cause, I would love it. Um, also, for those of you that would like some information, we do have some of their flyers available. Um, some of y'all were asking about the nonprofit. Yes, 100% of the proceeds that we raise do go and stay here. Uh, our area is the Central Florida cities of Astatula, Claremont, Mineola, Mount Verde, Mascot, Howie in the Hills, Groveland, Okahumka, and the surrounding Lake County areas. So it's a nonprofit. So anything that you do donate is a 501c3. And of course, we do have um, the grants and stuff available. We have the scholarship. So if you want one of these, I would be happy to drop them off. Um, just remember, anything that we do with GCCF, Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation, all the proceeds stay here. The money is helping your local neighbor battling cancer. And um, I don't know if y'all know this, but some people think, okay, breast cancer is just for women. Now men also get it too. Um, now where breast cancer, 30% chance for women, it's about 20% chance for males with prostate cancer. So now Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation is not just breast cancer. Um, my company is pink because our first battle of, uh, with dealings with cancer was, was breast cancer and that's how we learned about it. But I didn't learn about GCCF until my aunt was battling um, colon cancer. Um, so that's how we found out. We saw a flyer and then I went to one of their fundraisers and ever since then we've just been kind of trying to support and get the word out there. So I learn more and more about GCCF every day, um, especially now that I'm more involved. So for the bras for the cause and boxers too, I don't have a flyer just yet. As soon as I have it, I'll be sharing it with you guys and I will be the master of ceremony that day. Um, and then uh, to make everybody happy, last year my outfit was not auctioned off. This year my, my outfit will be auctioned off. It is being custom made and it'll arrive from Louisiana um, in time for the event. <laughs> Thank goodness because my friend is actually going to be coming in and she's the one that's making it. She's a designer and artist in, um, in Louisiana, so that's exciting. Um, speaking about cancer still, we have a rise in mouth cancers, and I don't know if it's because of all of these cool vaping options or um, they're trying to make smoking cigarettes and smoking the vape pens, and, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't vape, so I don't know what it is, the vape, vape something, somethings, but the increase. So it's become the 10th most common cancer, and it's an increase in men, 32%, and in women, it's 33%. So and for women, it's the 15th most common cancer. So if y'all are sitting there with your little cool vape pens and you're, you're thinking that it's not an issue, y'all need to check it out. It's not just affecting your lungs, now it's affecting your mouth. So say bye-bye to the pretty pearly white teeth and your gums because that's just gonna be terrible. Um, so we're not gonna talk about any more grossness like that, but y'all need to check it. Turn off your, your vape pens, throw them out, get rid of them, don't be doing that. So last week I introduced Pink Wednesday and we also talked about wanting to talk about the community and um, who's got what going on. So 
y'all were great. Y'all sent me some information. So Wine Walk is going to be January 17th, 6.30 to 9 p.m. Now, if y'all have never done Wine Walk in downtown Claremont, it's amazing. You spend $15, you get a map, a coupon, and a glass, and then you go around to all of the local businesses. Not only can you learn the area, you see who's got the shops and who's got some specials going on, but you also get to try different wines. I used to like White Zinfandel, and that was it. Now I talk about Shiraz and I love the different sangrias and I just had all different types of red wines that I had never heard of. I, I love the different tastes. And then if you ask Keith at Bacchus Just Right, he's going to give you the history of the grapes. So that's totally cool. So this Friday, Wine Walk, January 17th, 6.30 to 9.30. And if you say, I'm um, not 9 p.m. And if you say, oh, Eileen, that's not supporting your community. Well, yes, it is. You're shopping local. You're supporting your community and most of those businesses, when you need somebody to support your little league or your football team or help somebody out, who do you go to first? Your community. So, healthy living. So now there's going to be a free event and it's going to be Saturday, January 25th. And that's going to be 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. That's in downtown Claremont and it's the First United Methodist Church. It's on the corner of 7th Street and 50. Now it's free to attend. They're going to have some speakers. They're going to have some vendors. Um, you're going to have um, some crafts. They're going to have some kids, uh, kid games. There's going to be a whole zone area for them. And then for um, those that are interested in different, um, maybe you're looking for a new doctor. Maybe you just relocated to an area and you want to know who you can visit. A lot of the doctors and the chiropractors are going to be there. I met my awesome chiropractor. Um, Dr. Portella with Balanced Spine Center at one of these events and he keeps me walking straight so I'll walk into his office and I'll be like I'm broken fix me and he does <laughs> um, did you know that we have a Lake County Rowing Association here I know you did because we've got a beautiful lake over here and they recently broke two world records so I have to brag on some of these kids here now I have a rower and I like to say that I row a lot, but no, I'm pretending. <laughs> we have this love-hate relationship. It yells at me and tells me to row, and I tell him, no, I don't want to row. But these fabulous kids, they rowed so much so that they broke the 24-hour rowing record break. Um, they rowed, get this, ready? I had to, I had to write some notes because I can't remember. They rowed... 22.6 miles. So if you were trying to figure out how wide, how long that was, think of if you rode from Claremont to Fort Lauderdale. That's 363,828 meters. And they did that in 24 hours between 10 high school students. Now they broke the record of the 351, um, 351,050 meters. So that was amazing. So they broke that record. Then, because that one wasn't enough, then these Lake County high schoolers decided to break the one million meter um, record, world record. So now they did this by, in 67 hours, 16 minutes and eight seconds. And they smashed the previous record of 71 hours, 12 minutes and 51 seconds. So from what I understand on the 24 hour rowing, they had two of the high school students and they rode, they, they switched every five minutes for two hours, took a break for three, but while they were taking a break, another set of two kids were doing the same thing. So 24 hours, that rower kept going. So it is amazing. So if you see the Lake County Association, um, those high schoolers out there, give them a big hand and just tell them congratulations, because that's a big feat. Now they are kind of still trying to raise some money, so they've got pennies for meters, and they have this awesome event, and for $30, and it includes um, a pregame food and a ticket to the Solar Bears. Five dollars of every ticket sold is going to go back to Lake County Rowing Association. Now they're going to be in section 104. Um, so if you have um, silent items that you would like to donate, or if you would just like to purchase a ticket or attend, or maybe buy some tickets and donate them, that would be super awesome. Um, I know I can connect you with Cindy. She's one of the, um, the Lake County Rowing Moms, or um, we can get with you. I'll um, include this information. Brett Stolberg is the uh, main contact. 
Now, this is supporting your community. So not only can you buy a ticket, you can have date night, have dinner, um, but the kids also get um, some support. So I believe that is all the information that I have for you guys today. So Pink Wednesdays, we are gonna to continue to talk about GCCF, Bras for the Cause, any kind of events that we're going to promote and sponsor in our area. Um, and then we're gonna to try to leave anything that's supporting um, the veterans on Friday. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop in the pink door, come visit me in Claremont. I can answer any questions that you have, maybe um, pick up one of your pamphlets. Um, I do have some Bras for the Cause tickets that I'd like to sell, and if you are willing to drop off a donation for their silent auction or some alcohol for their Yeti, um, the tickets are $20 for one, special right now is six for 100, and it will be full of alcohol once we're done. The value of the Yeti and its full gloriousness will be about $1,000, so not bad for $20. And all of the money that we raise between the Yeti, the alcohol, and the, the ticket sales, all of it, 100% of that is going to the GCCF Foundation. So I really appreciate y'all. If you have any questions about Bras for the Cause, um, if you wanna buy a ticket for that, um, if you wanna sponsor, um, one ticket, $60. Um, if you want to do a table, it's 600. If you want to do 750, you can get a, uh, the table and you can get a sponsorship sign. So let me know, give me a call. I look forward to speaking with you and I've got some great information for y'all on Friday for our Red Shirt Friday videos. But thanks so much. I hope y'all are wearing pink on Wednesdays. See you soon.